Hey there, this is Shweta from OnlineTechMarketer.com. If you've been using Kajabi for your business or you want to use Kajabi, but you don't really know how to set up a website inside the Kajabi platform, in this video, I'm going to help you do exactly that. If you're interested in more videos around marketing technology and tools and tips and tricks, definitely subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss on any updates. So let's get into it. Okay, so we are looking at our Kajabi dashboard and uh, we're going to be talking about building a website in Kajabi. Now, Kajabi is a great option to build a website if you don't already have a website in WordPress or Squarespace, if you're a course creator or a service provider and don't really use your website or blogging as a way to, you know, go out there. Even if you do blog, uh, Kajabi is still great, but of course, SEO with WordPress is, you know, much more uh, customizable than with Kajabi, but definitely, uh, you know, you can build a great looking website right inside of Kajabi. So I'm inside my Kajabi dashboard and I've just clicked on website and this page pops up. So again, this is a demo account. So everything I'm showing you here is inside my demo account. So the first thing that you can do is you can click on manage themes if you want to choose a particular theme that you know of or you know you can just click on pick a theme and go through the different themes that you like so if i click on pick a theme it'll show me different themes so depending on how you want your website to look or your home page to look you could choose something that's much more in a line with uh, your business needs so there are tons of diff different options and there are some details with respect to each theme. So it'll give you a better idea as to, you know, what to choose. So these are uh, the new themes. And then if you click on Kajabi legacy themes, they have like the older themes um, right here. So you could choose a theme that you feel is going to be, you know, good for the kind of homepage you want. Uh, I have a theme selected already, so I'm just going to stick with it uh, for now for the purpose of this tutorial. The second thing, the second step to do after you've chosen your theme is to uh, click on navigation and create a navigation menu for uh, your homepage. So the main menu is basically the navigation menu that's going to appear right on top. And then there's a footer menu. You could also add like a new navigation menu. Uh, you could name this, I'll just name this demo, save menu. So then this is how you, you're going to create a new menu and then you can add different pages or links. So suppose I have this, uh, you know, I've created a custom menu. I could add a page, a link, a product. So if I add an external link, I could add a link to maybe my Instagram and just, you know, say something like connect on Instagram. I know you generally don't have Instagram on your main menu, but this is just an example. So you could add external links. If you have a product that is hosted in Kajabi itself, you could add directly add a link to that product. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this link right. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to cancel this. But if you wanted to add a product, um, you could add the name of the product and then select a category. Like right now, I just have one product here. So I'll just save it and then it'll show up in my menu. Under default menus, you'll already be, you know, be seeing the main menu and the footer menu. And then you can just add links based on, you know, if you want to take them to a page so if it's a landing page you could just you know give it a name and then choose a landing page and then save menu i already have this so i'm just gonna edit and delete 
So this is how you will create your navigation bar up top. Um, that's the second step. And then once you're done with that, that's when you will start customizing your pages. So right now, uh, you know, so the first thing is customizing your home page. So how do you want your home page to look like? So you can just click here to customize or here to customize. So I have like a little bit of a page set up here, but I'll show you how you can add different sections. Before you go ahead and start creating sections on your page, what you can do is you can go into settings, you can upload a favicon. So this symbol right here the blue symbol for kajabi that you can see that is a favicon i already have mine but you can select an image from your uh, desktop laptop computer and just add it here then the typography so font color font family so based on your brand branding needs you can change that then you'll have the color scheme so you can change the color scheme so basically this primary color um you know are the buttons that you see the call to actions offset is kind of like this color and then you have the dark thing which is like an overlay for the images so i can just you can just click on this and instead of choosing any of these you can click here and then put in your hex code that you're using for your business so i'll just give you an example when i update this and save this this color will get updated so that's the color scheme and then you can change colors for the message uh, they receive so if they signed up on your landing page they'll receive a success message you can change the colors for that you can um, add like uh, you know what kind of uh, page do you want for password recovery if someone has is not able to log in into their account they can do that and all of these other options so that's the settings get that out of the way first and then you can go inside of sections and you can start adding and editing sections so when I click on this, this is called the hero image, right? So when I click on it, uh, it shows you the title. So you can, you know, change or add title here. You can add a short description here. You can also click on this and edit and it'll give you, it'll show you this place where you can edit it. You can edit uh, the appearance. So if you want to add a video in the background instead of an image, you can choose that. Um, and then here you can you know select an image for the background if you had a video you can do that here if you wanted to add a background color you could do that alignment spacing and then call to action so i have a call to action here so if i click on edit it'll just open up that call to action details so the text the action so where does this go when they click on this link uh, that link is right here and then if I wanted it to open in a new window I would choose that here and then the CTA details uh, the colors and then you just hit save and when you choose a theme you'll already have certain sections built up if you're starting from scratch and want to build everything yourself you can add your your own uh, you can delete sections and then you know add sections as well so um this is kind of you know the logo list that i've added here um let's you can also if you want to move things around so you know i've added like a time countdown timer here if you wanted to add new a new section in between these two sections you could just click on add section select what kind of section so if i wanted uh maybe like an image gallery i could choose that and then when you add it it gets added to like this bottom section at the end of all sections i could just you know um go back and this is the image gallery so i could just drag it up right here if i wanted it right after the countdown timer so then it would appear here and then I could click inside it to change the images so you could select an image uh, if you want uh, it to lead to a URL you could do that you could change the title you could add a subtitle so you could just say free guide and then I could say get this free guide for help 
with marketing something like that right so and then you can also change the the background uh, color text color you can add a url so you could do a ton of different things and again you know when you're creating your website you can go through the different uh, sections or section options that are available so if i were to add a new section there are tons of different options slideshows space or testimonials if i wanted to add testimonials i could just click here and add and it would add a testimonial here or like a testimonial section right here i could go in and edit text here i could you know if i wanted to remove a head remove the headshot i could do that or i could just add a headshot here and then add uh, the testimonial uh, the person who gave the testimonial their image here i could add their name and title and then just hit save i could also just delete the block here if i wanted to so these are the different section options again tons of different things you can do um you could add text and image section you could add this section right here uh there's like an opt-in kind of section so tons of different sections and then you could also add an exit pop-up if you wanted so you could just click on edit pop-up and then edit you know the pop-up here what text do you want in the pop-up so this could say wait okay and then of course you can change make it not bold and change the text color change the format and then you could just say get the guide and then you could add a call to action which then takes them to the guide so get it now and then the url here and then you could have of course change like the way this looks and just hit save let's go back and you could also add like a two-step opt-in as a pop-up so something like this so and then edit this again so tons of different different options you can do to create your website let's go back so this is basically just the home page uh, similarly you can create the other pages so if i were to go under design there's a library so this is where all of your courses appear you can set up a blog uh, you can change how your blog posts would look you can change how your thank you page would look how the login page would look so all of those can be customized right from here now when i click on preview this should show my home page right but this is actually my landing page and the reason for that is i'm under settings now so in my dashboard i'm under settings and when i go to uh, site details So here is where you can change what shows up on your home page. So you'll have your site info here and then here under home page right now I've selected that a landing page should be showing as my home page. That's why when I preview my home page this is what shows up. But if I change this to theme home page and save it and then I go back here and preview. So let, let's save this and again here you can add your branding so your brand logo your favicon you can choose your colors you can put your headshot here and all the header scripts here seo right so you can do all of those under site details so now i updated my home page to show the theme home page now when i preview this it'll show this page right so now it's gonna this is gonna be shown as my website and then i have this main menu navigation 
I have this header, all of these different things that I added to my home page. So under site uh, info, this is where you'll change what shows up as your home page. And then uh, you can go back and you know, if you have a custom domain that you want to use with Kajabi, you can set that up here under settings and domain. So this is where you'll begin your domain setup. Um, so this is basically how you can get started with setting up your website in Kajabi. If you have any questions and need more help, definitely reach out to me in the comments and I'd be happy to help. And also if this tutorial was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.